We're giving a master class on how to not give a fuck. And let me tell you, I am an authority figure on the fucking topic. See those fucking games getting crazy, baby. Come on, man, stop fucking playing with me, dog. Oh, I got the master bathroom. Into the lair with the lights. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Ah. Yo, today, you know, tonight, I'm gonna be giving a master class fucking turn the light on and get to pacing around this bitch <sighs> yeah we're giving a master class on how to not give a fuck and let me tell you i am an authority figure on the fucking topic for sure for sure on this one this is L -l ladies and gentlemen <laughs> this one is my fucking specialty, my people. So, listen, man. Not giving a fuck is one of the most important abilities that you'll have to be your fucking partner and your motherfucking pillar of support, foundation, foundational, motherfucking structural to go where you want to go in life and to create what you want to get what you want out of life, man. You're really going to need to not give a fuck, man. You got to become an expert at not giving a fuck, man. Me, I am 100% an expert in not giving a fuck, bro. A leader of not giving a fuck, bro. Look at my fucking hair right now, you know? I haven't got a cut in like two fucking months, all I do is keep the beard in check. You know what I'm saying? And that's enough. I want to get it cut, but I just got more important things to fucking focus on. I'm a man on a fucking mission. And right now, I don't even want to deal with no bitches like that. Trust me, I love women and I do. I want to. But that's, that's, well, you know, the haircut is not only for, for the women. It's also for you. But I just know I got much more important things to focus on that's just not on my priority list right now you know what i'm saying and me walking around without a fucking fade at least i rock the fro but i don't even have the fucking fade this shit has just grown the fuck out Cause i don't give a fuck bro i don't give a fuck man i'm good looking already man you know what i'm saying if 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 a bitch wants to look at me and be like, oh, he don't got the haircut. I'm not trying to fuck with him. I don't want to fuck with that bitch anyway, bro. I'm not really trying to fuck with no bitches right now, bro. Like, the pussy got to fucking fall on top of my dick for me to fucking deal with one of these women right now, bro. Because if where I'm at in life right now, like, if you were going to deal with me, like, there's something wrong with you already. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm like... So I don't give a fuck right now, bro. And even when when I shit, when a motherfucker got got the braids done, got the cut and everything, shit, I, I, I don't give a fuck even more. You know what I'm saying? That just raises the level of not give a fuck even more so. I'm just trying to prove to you guys and show you guys my credibility of how I don't give a fuck, man. I never gave a fuck, yo. I stopped giving a fuck a long time ago. Matter of fact, I don't even know if I ever actually gave a fuck ever in my life. Honestly, like when it comes to what other people think, when it comes to what other people think, I never gave a fuck about that shit, bro. I never gave a fuck about that shit. I have a fucking vision and I have shit that I'm focused on. And that's what I give a fuck about, bro. See, not giving a fuck is about what other people think not letting the imaginary opinions of a few people in your head stop you from doing shit that you need to do you know what i'm saying or or letting outside imaginary opinions and sentences that people may say 
thoughts they may have affect your life and what the fuck you're doing and what you need to do, bro. Can't do that shit, bro. That shit is out. That shit is out the window, feel me? That shit is out the window, bro. Fuck that. The importance is is you can't honestly even state it enough. I was just checking if the terrace was wet. We might have to go outside on the terrace for a little bit. You know what? I'm going to take the socks off. It is a little wet. I'm going to take the socks off so I don't got the wet socks. I'm going to come in and wipe my feet after. But, um, yeah, man. I never read the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I know it's a huge book, though. He had something right. Just I could just tell by the title. Oh, look at this little salamander. Oh, he's trying to run away. Here he is. Hold on. I don't know if you got to see him, but shout out to Salamander, homie. Yeah, man. You can't. You can't. You have to not give a fuck, man. You you, you can't let shit affect you in a negative way. You can't you can't let shit stop you, man. Trust me, you, you have to give a fuck about the things that you should give a fuck about. But there's plenty of things in life that you shouldn't give a fuck about and you definitely can't. The art form the ability, the skill set of not giving a fuck is so powerful because it just, it enables you to be completely free. The phone is telling me more, more, uh, it's telling me more light required. It was, it was a little too dark. There we go. See these fucking gains coming in? You think I gave a fuck when I was in the gym? Fucking pushing my body so hard, breaking my soul. I didn't give a fuck. I just kept going the fuck that's why i fucking look like a fucking statue you see the fucking cuts come on man you see the gains the shit is so important and essential to being a fucking great goaded goat to being a fucking motherfucking generational fucking icon you know what i'm saying a fucking example to those around you, to those that you love, to future generations, to people you don't even know, man. This is a pillar, I'm telling you. This is a fucking pillar on the fucking structure of success right here. You gotta not give a fuck, man. And you gotta get good at not giving a fuck, bro. Like, trust me. You know, we're all human in those thoughts that enter our head. You know, like, most of the times when I go out during the day and I'm doing my thing, I'll put a hat on. Or, you know, a couple times at the gym, recently I put the fucking mask on. Like, because I don't want to just, if, especially, like, I just washed my hair yesterday, so the curls are looking better than they do normally. But if I just let it rock for a few days, you know, it gets a little, gets a little crazy. And sometimes I, like, you know, I put the hat on just to make it look, look a little better, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Just on top, like, some, some cartoon vibes. I always feel like I look like hey on or, the, like, some cartoon character. Because the, the hat just sits on top. You feel me? <laughs> it don't cover it. But it just, you know what I'm saying? A little distraction. A little smoke screen. Fucking. I just make everything look saucy. So it doesn't matter what the fuck I do. It just, it, it ends up looking saucy. It don't matter. Not everyone can do it like me. I understand. Not everyone can make absolutely anything they do saucy. But I have that gift. So thank you, God, for that one. But, um, yeah, man. I'm human, too. So sometimes it creeps in my head. And I'll be like. Oh, I hear that, that little voice and that thing that everyone hears like, what if these people say this or that or da 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 Fuck that shit, bro. But then I say, fuck that shit. That's how I do. It creeps in my head and I'm like, fuck them. I don't give a fuck. It creeps in my head, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, nice, nice fucking try, devil. Not today, Satan. Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? That's what I say to that shit, bro. Like, the devil just don't got shit on me, bro. The devil is a fucking bitch. Unless he's doing my fucking work for me, you feel me? Fucking, you know, getting the fucking minions to do my shit for me. And you know what? That's that. You know, there's, there's, there's the polarity of life. And we have God in us, which is everything and omnipresence and all-knowing and the creative force of the universe. And we also have the devil. It's a, it's a part of us too, though, your shadow self. You know, there's th that dark side. We all have that also. Hey, listen, if it's going to benefit me, you know, the devil's going to do what the devil's going to do. But what the devil's not going to do is fuck with me because I'm the fucking goat. 
and God got me protected. You know what I'm saying? So if it's not benefiting me and if it's going to try to get in my fucking head on some bullshit, hell no, bro. I just fucking backhand that nigga like, bah, fuck out of here, bitch. It's the fucking takeover, nigga. What the fuck you thought this was? Get the fuck out of here. Doubt? What the fuck? Doubt? Bitch. I know what the fuck doubt is, nigga. All I know is fucking straightforward truth, nigga. Truth to the fucking promised land we go. You know what I'm saying? All I know is fucking get it done. Yeah. So, one thing I can't do is teach you guys how to be psychopaths. I try. I try on this channel, but I can't really teach that. So, <laughs> you're going to have to just motherfucking soak it in through osmosis over time. And maybe, ah, maybe you can, a little bit of it will rub off on you. Not giving a fuck is just so important because... That doubt that likes to creep into our head and that fear, that's what all of that is. That's what giving a fuck normally is. It's doubt and fear, bro. And that's the fucking devil, bro. That's the destructive part of the universe that is what's going to destroy your fucking dreams. So fuck it. Fuck it. Abolish it. Get that shit out of here. Get him out of here. Fucking Tony. Go make him sleep with the fucking fishes. You know what I'm saying? Call Tony Soprano on him. Hey, Tony, forget about it. <laughs> That's what I say. Every time it creeps into the back of my mind, all I hear is the Sopranos theme song start playing. Woke up this morning, got myself a gun. Bow! And I fucking shoot it to smithereens. Fuck out of here. Listen, not giving a fuck is the key to unlocking everything in fucking life. Because you... That means that you don't let fear and doubt get to you and you just run through that shit and you just handle what you have to handle and no fucking outside voices or outside opinions or those fucking people who become agents of the devil and try to speak ill on you, try to fucking plant seeds of doubt in you. Anytime someone's planting seeds of doubt in you, the devil is working through them and they don't know and they're being one of the devil's minions and you gotta just... Wish them blessings at that point and see it for what it is and backhand that fucking doubt out of your fucking life. Fuck out of here. <sighs> Listen here. Over here on the takeover side, we're just a bunch of fucking winners. Shit, all we do is win, win, win no matter what. DJ Khaled is related to me. Because all I do is win, and I keep on winning one after another. And sometimes I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror, and I say, another one. <laughs> another win, another day to be blessed, another day to receive and accept God's blessings and lessons from life. And have direct feedback with God for God to tell me what I'm doing right, what I need to do, what I need to fix. And how he's always got my back regardless because he fucking loves me and I'm going to be blessed. And right when, when, when I feel like shit is crazy, I feel a little push. When I feel like I'm sinking a little bit, it feels like I'm levitating because God lifts me up. That's what's going on here at the fucking takeover. And that, my friends, is how you don't give a fuck. So important. I can't possibly overstate how important it is. So listen, this is a fucking skill and a muscle to develop. Work on it, work on your I don't give a fuck muscle. And it starts with awareness, just like anything else you wanna change in your life. You gotta catch yourself when you start giving a fuck and you gotta backhand it the fuck out of there. That doubt, that give a fuck, backhand that shit, bro. Stop, just stop it. Until eventually it becomes a fucking habit and every time it creeps in your head, you're gonna say, fuck that. Your body feels it. It's like a little resistance. It's like, it's like, this isn't natural. What the fuck is going on? Boom, you catch yourself. And you say, oh, this is that bullshit. Yeah, they can't fucking touch me. That's why I do. Listen, I went to some dark places in my life. You know, at one point I was really doing Xanax. And it makes you, it makes you also I had a few acid trips where I saw demons and shit. And I went on this spiral. Or sometimes I would do a lot of Xanax and I would start hallucinating a little. And <laughs> fucking, I learned how to deal with the demons. I learned something important. You know, that comes from those experiences, but it's also bigger than that, you know?
it's also much bigger than that. I'm a very spiritual person. And pretty much I learned that demons are very real. Demons, you know, outside this dimension or that agents of that dark, destructive force that the devil is. The opposite of creation, the opposite of God. Which is also a part of us in this duality of life, right? So demons, they're, they're, they are very powerful beings, but I learned something really important. I'll do a video on this, but let me give you a quick little sneak peek. So they're very powerful. They're very powerful, however, they only have as much power as you give them. So what I learned is that when you feel that energy, you can cast demons away easily. Demons become more and more powerful as you give them power and you believe they have power. But if you just cast them away and say, you're not fucking welcome here, get the fuck out of here, I'm blessed by God, get the fuck out, go bitch. I'm fucking goaded and God has me protected, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Then they just leave and scurry away. Like, like, like some fucking roaches when you turn the light on. Or like some fucking little fucking bitch ass critters that are scared of the fucking goats of the world. That's what happens. So that's what you gotta do. That give a fuck and that doubt and fear is exactly that. It's demonic energy trying to hold you back and you can simply cast it away with your intentions and your words. What does it say in the Bible? First there was the word. Your words are fucking powerful. That'll be another topic. Your words are fucking powerful, fucking use them. So when you start giving a fuck and it tries to creep in, just tell yourself, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that. There you go. Simple as that. Now you have all your power back. Now you can continue on the fucking mission. And now you're fucking an unstoppable goat. Like the fucking God himself. The big ah, goat of the takeover. Takeover worldwide. You know our fucking mission. Everybody can take over the world from your perspective. Let's fucking get it. I love you guys. I'll keep sharing this fucking sauce forever until I fucking die. As long as I'm breathing, I'm gonna be giving this fucking sauce and it's gonna live on even beyond me. I love you guys. Let's fucking get it. Ah!